What is going on guys? Let's make some tissue culture media using the plant cell technology starting kit. If you are thinking about getting this kit, I already made an unboxing video. Or if you are looking for instruction on how to use the kit, keep watching. You will need the steel or arrow water. Pour the water into your mixing container. In this case, I'm using an Ellermeyer flask from plant cell technology. I like to add about 800 milliliters first. Mix the rest of the ingredients and then add the rest of the water. The kit includes 5 individually wrapped liters of media. If you are making exactly 1 liter of media, you can pour the entire bottle. To make 1 liter of media, you need 4.54 grams of MS salt, which is precisely what I got on my scale. So good job to the people packing the products. Also, quick note, the bottles are very well sealed. You can see I'm struggling to open it. A magnetic stirrer is something you don't need, but you may want to invest if you are going to do tissue culture regularly. It just makes everything so much easier. The next ingredient is sugar. I have black grey sucrose, but you can use table sugar from the grocery store. Do not waste $20 on 2.5 kilograms of black grey sucrose when you can buy a 50 pounds bag of sugar for less than that. Most tissue culture media requires 20 to 30 grams of sucrose depending on the plant. In this case, I will use 25 grams. Before calibrating the pH, the last ingredient or ingredients are PPM, antibiotics and plant growth regulators if they are heat stable. This kit is good to get plants established in tissue culture. After they get established, you can move to multiplication media and then rooting media. So in this case, the last ingredient before calibrating the pH is PPM. The recommended dose for PPM is 1 to 2 milliliters per liter. I'm working in a laminar flow hood, so I'm only going to be using 1 milliliter per liter. However, if you don't have a laminar flow hood or you are a beginner, 2 milliliters per liter may be a better option. This is the time to add the rest of the water. Also, a good time to rinse the cup used to measure the ingredients. To calibrate the pH, you will need at least some pH strips, but I highly recommend getting a digital pH meter. The one I'm using costs less than $10 and I have been using it for over 3 years. I will invest in a better pH meter soon. Professional tissue corto labs typically use sodium hydroxide to increase the pH and potassium hydroxide to decrease the pH. I will make a video on making a stock solution of sodium and potassium hydroxide very soon. However, you can also use baking soda to increase and white steel vinegar to decrease the pH. The pH value we are looking for is 5.4 to 5.8 depending on the plant. If I'm working with a new plant or different plants, I stay in the middle at 5.6. Add tiny amounts of baking soda or vinegar as a little goes a long way. It takes practice, but you will get there. After calibrating the pH, add your gelling agent. The plant cell technology kits includes 50 grams of agar. For 1 liter of media, add 6 to 10 grams of agar. Again, I like to stay in the middle and use 8 grams. Now, here is where the magnetic stirrer comes to play. 99% of people heat the media to dissolve the agar. I don't do that. 
As long as I keep the media spinning, I can pour it directly into my tissue culture cups. I have been doing this for a long time using agar, gallon gum and gelsan. It saves me a lot of time, especially when I have to make multiple liters of media. Do not close the lid of your plastic cups or they will melt in the aeroclay or pressure cooker. And if you are using glass flask, they can explode. Always keep them loose. My pressure cooker can hold 80 of these plastic cups, equivalent to 2 liters of media. So I took the time to make a second liter of media off camera. Fill the pressure cooker according to the instructions. Mine has a line to mark the amount of water needed. It's better to use the steel or arrow water, but my arrow filter is still at the other lab, so I'm using water from the shower. Also, avoid using electric pressure cookers like the Instant Pot. They don't reach 15 psi or 121 Celsius. The sterilization time is 20 minutes for pressure cookers smaller than 20 liters and then add one minute for each liter over that. My pressure cooker is 39 liters, so the sterilization time is about 40 to 45 minutes. Clean the space where you are going to place your tissue cut of flask using 70% azopropyl alcohol. I'm placing my tissue quarter cups in the laminar flow hood as it's easy for me to film. However, you can use a table or a countertop if you are in the kitchen. As long as you keep your cups or flasks covered, they will be okay. Using PPM, you can even pour the media outside of a laminar flow hood. If you are using plastic cups, don't close them until they have cooled down or they will deform. I will wait until the media has solidified it to close the cups. For agar, that can take about 30 minutes. Now that the media has solidified, I can close the lids and use them immediately or put them away to use later. Leave a comment if you have any questions. You can also go to plantcelltechnology.com if you are interested in purchasing this kit or other tissue culture supplies. Also, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And of course, subscribe to the channel. We are uploading new tissue culture related videos twice a week. Until next time, goodbye.